Now, your East Texas Storm Team forecast. Welcome back to East Texas Live. We have Andrew Samet over here hanging out with me at the desk. He is going to tell me something about the weather. Yes, I think I will. Okay, great. Go rainy, and, rainy and stormy today. By tomorrow, dry and windy. Taking a look at Longview with our tower cam, we are seeing overcast skies right now. Oh, over in Longview right now, the temperature is 64 degrees. The dew point sitting at 61, so it's a lot more uh, comfortable out there. Not as humid as this morning. Uh, winds now out of the northwesterly direction, and when you get that northerly wind, it kills off any severe weather threat for our area. We still do have some storms, though, to talk about, especially into portions of Sabine County. Uh, that's where the last of this line is pushing on through, and that rain is pretty heavy over by Hickory Ridge and Fairdale. Uh, again, that heavy rain is going to continue for the next uh, a few minutes here and uh, but the gusty wind threat is starting to wind down. However, you could still see some 40 mile per hour wind gusts over in Fail Fairdale and Hickory Ridge for at least the next few minutes before this finally pushes off into Louisiana. So again, uh, most of the line now is out of Texas and into Louisiana, but we still have that southern part of the line uh, in uh, Sabine County uh, that we are still tracking closely uh, because it is uh, still bringing that potential for some strong uh, gusty winds. Again, that severe thunderstorm warning for Shelby County still in effect, but in Shelby County, again, the, the storms are out of here, so uh, really it could be uh, dropped at this point. But we're just tracking Sabine County now for the last of that line of thunderstorms. Taking a look at your future cast and what we can expect for the rest of the day. Uh, there's a line of storms pushing over into Louisiana by noon and then by your two o'clock hour. We could see some additional shower development out behind this main system as some uh, upper level moisture sticks around. But again, not looking at any major concerns there. Uh, just a few showers possible uh, through the early afternoon by four o'clock. Temperatures are in at the upper 60s and lower 70s out there. And we're tracking a few light showers perhaps by four, five, even six o'clock. We can't rule out a shower or two around, but no major concerns expected. By 10 o'clock tonight, temperatures are in the upper 50s and in some cases the lower 60s out there. So this weather system is associated with a low pressure that's dipping in from Oklahoma uh, this morning. And uh, once this system passes us to the uh, east, on the back side of it, there's going to be a whole lot of wind coming in for Thursday and Friday as uh, again, winds could gust up to 35 miles per hour, maybe even slightly higher than that on Thursday. And that's not even with any thunderstorms. It's going to be dry. Uh, it's just going to be uh, windy for Thursday and Friday. I say it's going to be dry. There's actually a chance for a light shower north of Interstate 20 for your day tomorrow with some wraparound moisture. But right now, forecast lows for tonight dropping into the low to mid 50s. Some spots could even drop into the upper 40s. You can see that over there in Crockett. So certainly a lot cooler than this morning. And of course, the severe weather threat long gone by your morning hours on Tuesday uh, with those temperatures out in the 40s and 50s. Taking a look at your seven day forecast now. Again, we are going to see windy conditions for Thursday and Friday, and then we dry things out for Saturday and Sunday. Halloween forecast looking anything but spooky out there. Lots of sunshine with highs in the upper 70s. And then for deep east Texas, it's more of the same with windy conditions expected for Thursday and Friday. For the